Alright, and we're back with more Path of Exile. We are just about to go into the Tidal Island. Because we are looking for a medicine cabinet. Or, not a medicine cabinet, a medicine chest. I'd be impressed if there was a whole cabinet just laying around. But, let's see, we gotta walk through the water. And, like I said, we're, this is Path of Exile. This is hardcore mode with a melee character that I eventually want to build up. To some kind of caster. So things can get scary in a hurry, hurry, especially with people that resist fire damage, so that sucks. Well, doesn't suck for them, sucks for me. So, Skull of Wisdom and Wool Gloves. Don't really need Wool Gloves. So, what I do need is for you all to explode on me. There we go. There we go. Very well timed level to gain. Very well timed. Alright, that was a fun camera fail. I hit the stop record button instead of the pause button to make it keep going, so... We're back. We had another option on the skill tree, and... It really wasn't much of a choice. I mean, maybe early game it looks like a choice, but... Just gotta make sure I don't get killed here and make them explode. But, I went with cast speed, because 9% increased cast speed going together is gonna really help. 5% elemental damage is also nice, but I have a feeling we'll be able to get that on some weapons. And we may not even... F elemental damage may not always help us, depending on what we decide to do with our character. But cast speed, once we get some spells I'm thinking of, is always going to help us. So let's hear it. Resist fire doesn't mean that they don't take fire damage. It just means that I get to be on fire. Not really. Oh, more mud people just coming out of the world. Let's see if we can clear down the rest of these guys. So they resist fire. They're not fire immune. That's good to know. That is a lot of blood. Whew. Lots of people are just going to keep trapping. So we just gained one level on an ability. And we got our first portal scroll. Hooray. Portal scroll, very simple. Let's us go back to town. Where are you? There you are. Portal scroll is exactly what it sounds like. Okay, good job. Oh dang, DK, first to reach level 61. Okay, so my double strike leveled up. You'll notice I'm not using it very much, but I still do level it just because the gym's equipped. And that's going to be a really good single target damage item, at least for what we're trying to do right now. But. I think the Shadow's biggest weakness, at least early game, is dealing with packs of enemies. So anything I can do to sort of kite my enemies, make them catch on fire, means I'd really love to have some ability to slow them down. That would probably work pretty well. Like, I could have gotten a Frost Strike ability. Oh, there's probably a big bad. So let's go ahead and focus on killing you a little bit and not tanking all this damage. Because sometimes it is just best to run. So we've got... I think we have an elite pack. Yeah. So we've got an elite pack and an elite monster in the same place. So we got some resisting elemental damage. And I'm still waiting for my traps to replenish. For some reason, they don't seem to want to. And then there's good old Hail Rake, who just froze me. So, dual strike. So, he uses Cold Spear. I managed to live, and I get the quest item, Medicine Chest. Hooray! Medicine Chest, which takes up a crap ton of inventory space. Okay, Rugged Quiver. It's going to be better in the plate vest for us. So that's a rare item. Unfortunately, we're not going to get a lot of use out of it. Iron Greaves. Okay, so I'm going to start ditching these plain Jane items here. So they're, like I said, they're good later. Maybe not as much right now. So Darkwood Scepter. we got to work on our inventory management here. Don't want to drop this. 
So we have another life flask. And we get a medium mana flask. That's something I almost missed. That would be really useful. I mean, it restores 80 mana over 6.5 seconds. We have 63 mana, so that's going to help, because we went through a lot of mana in that fight. So, quest update. Take the medicine cabinet back to this person. Can I fast travel? No? Maybe? It's okay. I know. I know something I can do. So, fire trap. You gained a level. Suddenly I'm back to having none. So I survived that alright. Which means I'm probably going to die to this group now. Before I can even... Oh! There's our massive hulking skull wrench. There's actually the rest of our no joke elite squad. I'd love to have at least a little bit of lifesteal or something. So, Driftwood 1 increases spell damage. Too much baggage. Yeah, too much baggage. Hmm. So here, yeah. That's not going to do me a lot of good. It's not even magic. What was I thinking? Okay. Alright. That's a good box. Full of goodies. If I can just live to take a look. Okay, that's, that was interesting. Those guys did not really do a lot being on fire. But we got two spells. We got Freezing Pulse and we got Fireball. That's great news. Fireball is going to help us keep our distance a little bit. Freezing Pulse is going to be a very, very good spammy skill. So Fireball, we'll just put you in there right now. I don't know how much we'll use you. Freezing Pulse, we're going to use you quite a bit. Let's go ahead and... No, it's not what I want. Clear this slot. Let's put Freezing Pulse on E. And Freezing Pulse is a nice ability that you can affect where it goes. It's a directional cold. So see, it's already hurting the crap out of people. Now if I can just weave those in together and sort of Freezing Pulse big scary packs of enemies like that, and then drop a trap. Should be pretty effective. Maybe. I don't know if these guys are going to live long enough to do a lot with it, but... Let's see here, and fireball... Am I going to have anybody left to kill with the fireball? Yeah. Yay. Fireball does fire damage. Yay! Standard fantasy spell. Ah! Don't like mud men. They deal cold damage. So we're... So that's pretty nice where I can freezing blast them now, or whatever it's called, and just kind of move them how I want them to be. So you may have noticed we're working our way back towards the start. That's because... This side area is not too big. It's just kind of a little island with some scary people wandering around. Feeling a bit short on man. Well, there we go. We can change that. So we did regenerate our mana flasks over time. It just took a while, and you can see our spell damage abilities jumping back up. And all we do is cross the water one more time, which you pay attention to the mini-map, you know where. And we're back to the terraces. Were we gone long enough for it to reset? We might have been. No, we are not. All the items are still there. So I do have a portal scroll. I probably could town portal here in a little bit. I wish I had more stuff to do with this space here. But we're going to go to the mud flats real quick instead, because it should be something right outside here. Yes. Waypoint. So we can fast travel. There's also some other areas that we haven't explored yet. But the mud flats have monster level 4. Notice that we are level 4. So let's travel back to town. That's the first thing on. So there's our waypoint station. 
There's some other players who are playing right now, and what Still we're going to do... Still alive, are we? See what items we can sell here. Like, for instance, this will give us one alteration shard. That's good. I've actually got to pause and take care of crazy animals, so... Let's not screw up the recording this time. So we got some other stuff to identify as well. So let's start with the Rugged Quiver. That would be good if we were going for some kind of bow build. But... I think at this point, I could try and barter it with somebody, but it's level 4, so I don't know how much I'm going to get. But I do, I can get a lot more alteration shards with that. So let's see what else. Cursed Quiver. Doesn't do me any good, so let's see what else we can get. 13. Short bow. If I did want to go for a ranged person, I'd be really happy with my drop so far, but that's the nature of these kind of games. Okay. So, 7 armor, or 6 armor, and 1.9 life regenerated per second. I think that's pretty clear-cut what we're going to try and do. So we're going to get rid of these boots with the fire trap on them once I'm out of this menu. Darkwood Scepter. Not an awful item. 7 to 12 damage, or... So 1.4 attacks per second, or 1.45... I'm not really doing a lot in terms of daggers. So I need level 5 for that, but we'll go ahead and put that on there. We'll put that on there with that. So let's go ahead and accept our little orbs. Let's go back to our inventory. So I can't use that yet. We're going to stash that. We are going to switch out our boots. Don't forget your... Oh, someone just leveled up. Don't forget your little socket thingy. Because I really want Fire Trap. Fire Trap is good. Fire Trap saved our butt quite a bit. And I don't need another small life flask. I'm pretty good with two of them, so... Sell that. Sell those. I'll take the scrap. So what is necessary? A medicine chest. Yay, medicine! So what do we want to get? Do we want to get a medium life flask? A medium mana flask? or a superior quick silver flask. That is a 40% increased movement speed. Now, a big health one is nice, because 100 health is a lot more than 60 health over 40 seconds. But I think the quick silver flask is going to be the way to go, because sometimes being able to just run is a big, big deal. Sometimes that's what you need. So we're going to sell this tiny mana flask. More scrappies. And let's go ahead and stash this while we're thinking about it. Now what does this guy say? Hey, Sorry. look, you got your hands on another chest. And now we got some choices. Do I want to do... So poison arrow. Not awful. Detonate dead. Kind of fun. Fire trap. Already have it. Freezing Pulse, already have it, so... Let's see here. Requires a claw, dagger, or sword. So we're using a dagger. Yeah, Viper Strike's not bad. But that's chaos damage, that's like poison. Poison Arrow... I imagine that requires... Maybe a bow? Doesn't look like it, but... Yeah, we're not going to worry about detonating dead. As much as I love cor Corpse Explosion, Necromancers, and uh, Diablo 2. We're going to go for Viper Strike. Because we want to be able to support ourselves a little bit in melee. But I still... Let's see here. So we still have a, a Dual Strike attack. So, stack up to four times, reapplied, the duration is refreshed, so... Each Viper Strike has charge deals three chaos damage. So, suddenly, it looks like we're going for specific kinds of weapons. That's okay. Okay, there's a pool near the mud flats. The pool turns septic. Be there to see it. So, what are we doing? Clear the fetid pool. Someone's asking for where the auction house is. Poor guy. Thinking of the wrong game, I think. 
Okay, so that's not where the waypoint is. That's where the waypoint is. So we're going to do a little bit of exploring in the mud flats and see if we can manage to survive. And it's more than likely that I am going to die here on the video, and you all can definitely give me pointers on where maybe I went wrong. But one really nice thing about uh, Path of Exile is that you don't have to be the hardest of the hardcore. If you die on hardcore mode, your character just gets moved to uh, softcore. So, let's see here. Yeah, I think that's going to be... Because that's taking up a ton of mana. That's going to be more of a single target debuff. So we've got to think a little bit about what abilities we want to use. So we did. We can just level up these things. I'm really interested in the Freezing Pulse gem. Hmm, Fetid Pool. We could go there right now. I'm a little curious to see. I don't think we're going to be stuck in here. Yeah. So, Grace Period, you can't be damaged. That's nice of you, because the Fetid Pool is monster level 5. Let's stick to the Mud Flats first. We can get back to the Fetid Pool in a little bit. It's just nice that we found it early. So, oh, that's a big, that's a big guy. In fact, I think we are going to have to freezing pulse some of these guys. Oh, there we go. So, got to heal up a little bit. Drop some traps. Timely leveling. So let's let's actually use our Okay. So that Viper Strike seemed to be pretty effective. That poison damage is really knocking him down a little bit. Either that or I just softened them up. I was not expecting dude to look like or dude to show up right there. So anything I can use? Hatchets. And stone axe. So those aren't gonna be terribly good for me, but it's stuff I can sell. Actually, what I would like is a Corroded Chain Coif. No, I wouldn't, because I thought that was a belt. But I should learn what Coif means. Okay. That's right, we gained a level. We'll have to mess with that in just a second. Because this doesn't pause you or anything. So we're going to keep going up the cast speed line. Okay, so all these guys are resisting cold. That's pleasant. So, find use for strange cliffs in the mud flats. That I can do, sir. So we're just focusing on mealing, focusing on seeing how much we can not get our face destroyed. See, one poison. Yeah, that's doing quite a bit of damage. I don't mind Viper Strike at all. So it's here. Now we have a quest for figuring out what these glyphs do. What I'd really love to figure out is uh, how to not sneeze here. I think I'll be okay. So we're just mealing. Because really what I want right now in the early game is being able to support my melee with some kind of casting, preferably by actually being able to aim my traps. So, how much does a sprint flask use? Oof! That's pretty fast. Just wasted a trap, but... Let's see, how far are we? I don't think, yeah, we're back at the waypoint. Okay, so that was a useless run. And there's our coast, and there's our little... I'll call them bird friends. They're scavengers. Dripping dead. Hello, you. So we're just looking for uh, good items right now. And really what we're looking for is to not be surrounded 
by a bunch of people. Jesus Christ. I walked right into that one. Feeling a bit short on that. Yeah, not good timing on that, buddy. Yeah, this is a... Okay, so resist cold, extra fire damage. How do you feel about poison damage? I think you feel pretty good about it. So yeah, I'm liking Viper Strike. It doesn't feel overpowered, but it's some nice extra damage. So, more glyphs. Okay, more glyphs and more bad guys. Just gotta keep from getting overwhelmed. And really watch my health here, because it could all go down in a hurry. But I'll take more scrolls. Said I, I want to play cautiously, but my first gaming instinct is always to run ahead way too far, and I know that's a great way to die on hardcore mode in games, but it's muscle memory. So we'll set you on fire, stab you a little bit. Okay, so there's an interesting other place there. We have some volcano, I think. No, that can't be a volcano. That's that, okay. First off, chaos orb. That's nice. New item. Forges reforges a rare item with new random properties. So if you want to re-roll a rare, get a chaos orb. That seems like it's pretty valuable, because it doesn't seem like it's limited by what level you have. Take the glyphs to the glyph wall. Strange glyph wall. Cave is now open. Talk to Tarkley for your reward. So that's Tarkley back in town. So let's see here. Lower submerged passage. 